Hello, my name is Josh Reagan with Information Transport Solutions. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up and configure Find Me, Follow Me for an extension, as well as the San Goma's built-in pickup groups. I'll also be going over how to set up a busy lamp feature on a phone so that users can monitor and also pick up calls for another user. I'll explain each one individually and then I'll show you how to set them up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and web to our PBX um, using the IP address colon 2001 and it'll bring up this page. So click PBX administration, log in with your user account and it'll bring you to the welcome page. If you're not already at the advanced mode screen, then you can click where it says advanced mode here and it'll take you to the advanced mode screen. The next thing you'll need to do um, is to go to extensions. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to set up the Find Me Follow Me. Now, Find Me Follow Me allows a user to have their phone ring to another user if they don't answer within X number of seconds. I use this feature a lot of times um, in comparison to Cisco's forwarding options, whereas in a Cisco world you could do a call forward no answer, call forward busy, call forward no service, um, where that feature you're forwarding to another extension and then if that extension doesn't pick up, the call goes back to the originating called numbers voicemail. Sangoma has those same options for sending a no answer and a busy call with some other features, but it is a true transfer. So once the call is transferred to the second extension, if that phone did not answer, it would go to the second person's voicemail box. Find Me, Follow Me allows me to ring a set of people and then if their phones don't ring or they don't answer, then it, it, you can set it to go back to the originating called numbers voicemail box. And that's very important to use in some of our customers' use situations. So the first thing you'll do is you'll go to an extension that already exists in your system and you'll click on Actions. Um, the edit action for that specific extension. It'll take you to the configuration page for the extension and you'll go to find me follow me. In this section the first thing you'll need to do is enable find me follow me. It is off by default but we want to be able to use the feature so we'll have to enable it. Um, Sangoma has these really useful um, question marks here that explain each section. They're very useful for different things. Um, you can set this up in a few different more complex ways. Today I'm just going over the very basic enabling, having it roll, having it ring some other phones, and then rolling to the originating call numbers voicemail. So the first thing you'll do, like I said, make sure it's enabled. Then you're going to want to go down to the initial ring time. I believe the default is 10 seconds. And then you'll want to change that depending on what the user wants. A good average is 5 to 10 seconds. That gives the couple of rings on the primary on the main on the person's extension. And then after those first 5 to 10 seconds, whatever you've set up, then it will follow into the follow me list. So whatever extensions you've set up into the follow me list and then whatever ring strategy you have for that list. So if you'll look you'll see that we have the initial ring time set to we'll just go with 10 and then we have to select a ring strategy. The default ring strategy is ring all version 2 prim. Now there are some differences in these and if you look at the ring strategy and you hover over the question mark you'll get those differences. Ring all version 2 is a 
ring all extensions in the follow me list for whatever this duration timer is that you have for that for the follow me um, <clears throat> the hunt will take turns ringing each available extension so it'll start out with the usually the first one then the second one then the third one then the fourth one until it's rung all of the phones individually <clears throat> excuse me the memory hunt will remember which extension um, oh wait no it'll ring the first extension in the list then it will ring the first and the second extension in the list then it will ring the first second and third section in the list so it'll remember the first one and then it'll start ringing the second one and then once it's done that for the set time it'll ring the third one and then it'll continue to do that until there's no more to ring and then it will go to the actions for no answer first available is going to ring only the first available channel so it's gonna ping the channels uh, for lack of a better term and the first one that it sees gets a re available uh, information for it's gonna send the call to that that extension um, and first not on phone uh, that's one we don't really use but it's uh, ring only the first channel which is not off hook so in nor call waiting um, if, a, if, the, if they had call waiting on it would ignore that and say okay the phone is off hook not gonna ring it gonna go to the first one that's not off hook and that is how all the different ring strategies the one I prefer to use most commonly is ring all version 2 that allows me to ring each phone all or all the phones at once because I'm going to put the extension that I'm having the find me follow me set up for in the follow me list so that it will continue to ring while the other people's phones are ringing as well that way in case the user just didn't get to it quick enough they don't miss that call they can still answer the call because it's still ringing their phone um, there's one addendum here each one has a prime option um, in that it states here these modes act as described above however if the primary extension first in the list is occupied the other extensions will not be wrong if the primary is free pbx d and d it will not be wrong if the primary is free pbx cf unconditional then all will be wrong so what happens here is if that person is in busy and doesn't have call waiting turned on and they're the first one in this follow me list it ignores the follow me follow me and it goes to whatever the no answer setup is we don't use the prime we really want to ring all no matter what um, but if you had a situation where if that person was on the phone and you just wanted to go to their voicemail and not bother anybody else this is a great feature to turn on so like I said we're gonna go with ring all version 2 today that's the typical one that we use and then we'll continue on the ring time this is how long the follow me list will be wrong no matter which depending on which strategy you've chosen so a ring all strategy then it's going to ring all the phones in the follow me list for 20 seconds and then it will go to the follow me destination uh, no answer destination destination um if it were a hunting i believe it rings each one for x number of this number of seconds until it's rung all of them and once it's rung all of them then it goes to the follow me no answer destination we're gonna set it to 20 today that's a pretty good setup um, if you were doing a hunt or maybe a um, uh, one of the other options that rings a single phone at a time you may want to decrease the ring time from 20 seconds because it would get really long call flow um, but that's entirely depending on what you're trying to do and what the end users are requesting the next thing you'll need to set up is the follow me list um, this is the list of extensions that will be wrong once you start the once it's gone from the initial ring timer to the, the follow me ring uh, time this is the list you're going to want to set it up in the order 
that you want it to ring if you're using um, some of the hunting or the um, some of the prime options. Um, like I said, in this one, we're going to continue to ring the extension that we're setting the Find Me, Follow Me up on, as well as an additional extension. So in this situation, we're ringing 1002, which if you look back at the top, is the extension we're configuring. And then we're also going to ring 10,001. <clears throat> now you could also add more extensions to this. So if you have a situation where you have a secretary that answers majority of the calls, but if she's not available at the moment, it rings two other people. Then you could have it ring the secretary's phone for 10 seconds, and you can have it ring the secretary's phone and the two other people's phones for 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Um, and then after that 20 seconds, it would go to the follow me, no answer destination. Um, but for today, we're just going to do these two. So what would happen here would ring 1,000 or ring 10,002 for 10 seconds, just 10,002. Then after the 10 seconds, it would ring 10,002 and 10,001 for 20 more seconds. Now there are some more options here. Um, I'm just going to go over them really quickly. The announcement is if you wanted to play an announcement to the caller saying, hey, you're being put on follow me. That would play here. You could record that, put it in the server, the recordings, and and then select the announcement here. I have another video on how to do system recordings. Won't go into that today, but you could do that if you wanted to. You could select the on hold music. So if you wanted it to act kind of like a on hold, like somebody picked up and put the call on hold while it was looking for the caller, then you could do that. The default is for it to ring, so the end user really doesn't hear any difference. The caller just hears it ringing until somebody answers the phone. Uh, that's the one that we use most often because we don't want the caller to think anything is changed. We just want them to think that they're calling someone and once the call is picked up, it's been answered. You could also add a CID name prefix and what this will do is it will take the caller ID that it's receiving from the telephone company so if I called from outside on my cell phone it would show my cell phone's number but I can take it and I can add a prefix to it so if I wanted the bookkeeper at a school say she's getting the calls for the secretary if the secretary can't answer then I could add you know from secretary's phone hyphen and then have the the actual caller ID from this from the telephone company and then the bookkeeper would see on her phone screen, she would see from secretary's phone and then the person calling. That may be helpful. They may like that, may want that feature so that they can easily tell if the call is for them or for another person. Um, you could also change the external CID configuration. We're not going to go into that today either. The one we are going to look at is destinations. Now, what I like to do is I like to leave it as the normal so when, on the no answer, I like to use follow me and normal extension behavior. Now what that's going to do is the system is going to look at the advanced tab and look and see what is in this field here, the optional destinations. And it's going to look and see what the no answer is, are busy or they're not reachable. So whatever the no answer is, that's what this phone is going to do. In this particular situation, their no answer is set up to unavailable voicemail if enabled. So as long as they have voicemail enabled, then it's going to send it to the voicemail box. And that's the find me, follow me setup. Once you've completed all those tasks, you would click submit. And then once submit goes away, you would click the apply config button that would appear here. And that would set up the find me, follow me. Okay, so that is how you set up Find Me, Follow Me. I know that at the beginning of this video, I said I would go over Find Me, Follow Me, Pickup Groups, and also Busy Lamp features in this one video. However, as I recorded all the configuration on those and the explanations I was giving, the video ended up being really long, and I didn't want these to be too terribly long. This one's already going to be over 15 minutes just for find me follow me I will make the other ones into a video and link it in the description and also provide a link at the end of the video that you can just click on and it'll take you to the one 
the next video, it will be both pickup groups and the busy lamp feature. Both of those are pretty easy to go over and fairly quick. I want to say that video is going to be about 10 minutes long. Apologize for not getting them all into this one video, just trying to keep the time down. And if you have any questions about how to set anything else up in the Find Me, follow me, leave a comment, and I will try to address them. Thank you.